Hello friends, today AZ Technology brings you a new discovery, the most advanced technology today, the tunnel boring machine. In other words, it is a giant machine, a construction machine in the world below our feet. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of tunnel boring machines, those mechanical marvels that chew through earth and rock like it's butter. These are not picks and shovels, these are feats of engineering that would take even a seasoned construction worker twice. So. Buckle up as we journey into the heart of tunnel boring machine technology. We'll uncover the secrets behind these underground behemoths, from their massive cutting heads to the intricate systems that keep them moving forward. It's certainly a dangerous and complicated job, but someone has to do it. And by the time we're done, you'll have a whole new appreciation for the hard work and ingenuity that goes into building the tunnels that connect our world. Now imagine a giant metal cylinder longer than a football field in some cases, with teeth that could shame a great white. That's your basic tunnel boring machine, or TBM for short. But don't let the brute force fool you. These machines are as much brains as brawn. At the front, you've got the drill head, the business end of the operation. This rotating behemoth is armed with an array of cutting tools, each designed to tackle different types of soil and rock. Behind the head, the drill body houses all the machinery that makes this beast tick think massive motors, hydraulic systems, and miles of conveyor belts. Then there's the transmission system, the muscle behind the machine, responsible for generating the immense torque needed to push that cutting head through solid earth. And finally, no TBM would be complete without its trusty soil and rock transportation system. Think of it as the cleanup crew efficiently whisking away the excavated material so the TBM can keep chugging along. It's a symphony of steel and power, all working in perfect harmony to carve out a path beneath our feet. So how do these underground behemoths actually work? Well, imagine a giant rotating cheese grater, slowly but surely, carving its way through a block of cheddar. That's the basic principle behind a TBM. The rotating cutter head armed with an array of hardened steel discs, grinds away at the earth, chipping and breaking the rock into manageable chunks. As the cutting head advances, hydraulic jacks push against the tunnel walls, providing the necessary force to keep the TBM moving forward. It's a slow and steady process, but when you're talking about boring through miles of solid rock, slow and steady wins the race. The excavated material, a mix of soil, rock, and whatever else happens to be in the way, is then collected and transported out of the tunnel via a conveyor belt system? Now, you might be thinking, what happens to all that dirt and rock? Well, it's not just about digging a hole. It's about what you do with the hole you dig. That's where the soil and rock transportation system comes into play. This intricate network of conveyor belts acts like an underground railroad, efficiently hauling away the excavated material from the tunnel face to the surface. From there, it can be either disposed of responsibly or, in some cases, even reused in other construction projects. Think of it as recycling on a massive scale. And this efficient removal of excavated material is crucial, not only for keeping the tunnel boring operation moving smoothly, but also for ensuring the safety of the workers underground. Shoring up the walls. Now imagine digging a tunnel through loose sand or unstable rock. You're going to need some serious support to prevent the whole thing from collapsing in on itself. That's where tunnel lining comes in. As the TBM advances, it installs prefabricated concrete segments to form a strong and durable tunnel lining. These segments, like giant puzzle pieces, are carefully fitted together to create a watertight and structurally sound tunnel wall. Think of it as building a subway system inside a giant concrete tube. And to further reinforce the tunnel lining, grout, a special type of concrete, is injected into the space between the lining and the surrounding rock, creating a solid and impermeable barrier. The brains behind the brawn. Now you might be surprised to learn that operating a TBM is about as high-tech as it gets. Forget your pickaxes and shovels. These machines are controlled by sophisticated computer systems that monitor everything from the pressure on the cutting head to the alignment of the tunnel. Sensors embedded throughout the machine provide a constant stream of data to the operators, allowing them to make real-time adjustments and keep the TBM on track. It's like piloting a spaceship through solid earth, 
And speaking of pilots, it takes a highly skilled team of engineers and technicians to operate and maintain these complex machines. They're the unsung heroes of the tunneling world, ensuring that these underground marvels keep on digging, day in and day out. A machine for every occasion. Now, not all tunnels are created equal, and just like you wouldn't use a hammer to drive a screw, there's a different type of TBM for every job. For softer ground conditions, you might use an earth pressure balance machine, which uses the excavated material itself to help support the tunnel face. For harder rock, you'll need a hard rock TBM with its powerful cutting head and robust design. And for underwater tunneling, there's the slurry TBM which uses a pressurized mixture of water and bentonite clay to transport the excavated material and stabilize the tunnel face. It's like choosing the right tool for the job, only on a much grander scale. The future is now underground. So there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the fascinating world of tunnel boring machines. These incredible feats of engineering are changing the way we build our world, connecting cities, transporting resources, and even generating renewable energy. And as technology continues to advance, we can expect even more innovative and efficient TBMs in the future. So the next time you drive through a tunnel, take a moment to appreciate the ingenuity and hard work that went into building it. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of conquering the challenges of the underground world. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and keep on digging.